Hey everyone, it's Skyla. Welcome back to the channel. I am prepared for this now. Whew. Right. We're watching and reviewing the list. Where the dead go to die. I had to be prepared for this. And I thought, yep, yeah, this is going to be one of two movies that I'm reviewing. Tonight. Yes. So we're gonna get this out of the way. So yeah. Um this came out it says two thousand and twelve on air films and then it says two thousand and eleven draconian films. Um if you know me, I do watch disturbing movies and I've seen this before, so this is like a rewatch for me and this is something I have to review. For the channel because I've not really reviewed this for the channel. So it's got it stars Ruby La Roca, Brendan, Brandon Slagle, Joey Smack, Victor Bonacore. By the way, they might these might not be like the actual names of these actors because of this animation. So yeah. Um just thought I'd say that. Joshua Michael Green. Linnea Quigley, oh yeah, Linnea Quigley's name's real. <laughs> oh, M. Dot Strange, which I'm actually surprised that Linnea, Linnea Quigley's name is surrounded with this, to be honest. Trent Hager, Devaney Pin, and I do know who Devaney Pin is, she is also an actress. And then in the next one, Passenger of Shit is Violet, Riot, Jennifer English, Emily Yukis, Eddie, Eddie Bonacore, World of Beast, DJ Plague, Jay Longo, Meat Sock. And then it's directed by Jimmy Screamer Claus. So I am going to go into this, as you know. With an open mind, whatever, as I do with all films. But just know, be prepared that this is fucked up. Because I've seen this before. And I will probably talk about that in whatever I can. If there's a scene that's not like nudity or fucked up, I will gladly show it. As long as it's got no music. And then we'll talk about it at the end. So we are getting ready to watch this now. So I do hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, this has been in the works. So now I'm, I'm going to watch it now. So yeah. Oh yeah. And it's only on for 95 minutes in total. So yeah. Region North. So let's go into this. I will come back to you soon. So yeah. Ciao. I am back. Still watching this. It's mental. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Look at the dog. It's crazy. So yeah, that's what I'm watching. So yeah, there you go. I have to put it back to me, so yeah. So I'm going to finish off watching the rest of this craziness and then here we go. But yeah, so I will talk to you guys soon. Hey, I'm back. I've just finished this. Oh my word. So basically, where the dead goes to die, where the dead go to die, it revolves around 
a troubled group of children living on the same block. And basically they're haunted by a dog called Labby. And basically um it's just it's what all, all I'll say is this is the ultimate mind fuck of an animation movie, in my opinion. Um basically we'll talk a bit about Lappy. Lappy is like this haunted dog and he pretends he's like a messenger of dot a messenger of God. And in one of the parts there's this little boy called Tommy. And Lappy tells Tommy that his younger brother is the fetus of the devil. So it needs to be killed. And they make a pact that obviously the fetus ends up being killed inside the mother, kills the mum and then kills the father by biting on his <clears throat> penis. The dad's penis. So then Lappy says to Tommy, because of what I've done for you, you've got to make... Um, you got to give me something in return. So Tommy went, well, what is it? And he said, you've got to give me your virginity. So there was a bit of bestiality involved. Yes. So it's kind of a bit, a bit crazy there. And then in another bit, there was like a mind-stealing junkie that when people were about to die, they were in, taking... Like drawing out this blue stuff, and then he he was injecting it into himself, and all of it like crazy stuff. And then, basically, poor Ralph had like a fetus stuck to his face, and um, his mum and father were like not happy with him at all. And then he befriends. The girl across the street and he's like he's in love with the girl across the street but the girl Sophie is basically a part of a child pornography like it's she's being forced into doing these stuff by her father so her father's filming certain situations that are not right, that are involving a daughter, like the daughter. And Sophia sometimes doesn't do as she's told in the father's eyes. So he hangs her from the ceiling and puts a mask on her. So she's dangling from the ceiling. And then, like, her little brother's, like, a little bit of a shit in this movie. And, and then Ralph... Like, gets to know the girl, but he ends up being a part of one of the movies, which isn't good. But the dad sees it. The dad watches it. And um, he's gone, you know, I've had Sophie as well. And I was like, my mind was blown. Like, like he was involved in this as well. The father, the father had taken part in a movie. And... He was happy that the son done stuff as that Ralph done stuff as well, and it was just it flowed through as a story. Don't get me wrong, but it was a mind fuck of a story in such certain situations that was going on in the story, and it's. This is one that you shouldn't go in lightly at all. This is a film that you shouldn't go in lightly and a film that you shouldn't, like, go, oh, this is a really good film. This is disturbing as fuck. This is a mind fuck. Um, I don't like 
Don't get me wrong, I do like certain type of disturbing movies, but this I don't like. Um, just not a fan of it, I'm not fussed on it. Like, the only time I will watch it is if it, like I'm told to review it or stuff, something like that. I won't go out my way to watch it. It doesn't appeal to me. Um, not really like, ugh, sort of thing. It does. It's not my cup of tea. Where this film is not my cup of tea. I just bought it for like review purposes. That's all I do it for. And now I've reviewed it. I'm like, oh. I would no longer like watch it. It's just will just be left away in the collection somehow. So yeah. So you've got my thoughts. Like you've heard the story about it. And be rating. I am so sorry, but this is all it deserves out of ten because of everything I've said. Three out of ten. Um, I don't even want to go in why I've given it the rating. I just. It just blows my mind how somebody can release something like that. Even in like an animation sort of way. Like don't get me wrong. I, I I get the people that you put this out to be aware of this. This is what happens sort of thing. But it just to me it's not appealing. It like in ways it makes me sick. But I'm not going to be sick. It just makes me feel sick as a human being that. People can do this sort of thing. So I know it sounds crazy to you that I'm talking like this, but I wouldn't go out of my way to watch it again. Like, if people think that this sort of film's good, it's not. That's not a good film. It's shit. It's shit. It's a mind fuck. Just don't get me wrong, the story, it tells a story. About what happen, what can happen in people in life. But they do it in like a twisted mind fuck, crazy, sadistic kind of way. So, yeah. So would I watch this again? Probably not. Did they give it the right rating? Yes, I did. So yeah. That's my review of this. I hope you enjoy it for like what it was. Um, I just probably wouldn't watch it again. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Turn that notification bell on. You'll get a brand new video from me very, very soon. So yeah, stay gaudy, have unpleasant dreams, and I will see you in the next review. I need to watch something better than that. I need to tell you now. Ciao, ciao.